Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're looking at running books. So before we get started, uh, do me a favour, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, uh, leave a like and comment below. I have a fair few running books, but I've picked out my top 10. Uh, but me being me, we're starting at number nine. It'll become clear at the end, don't worry. So what's your favorite running books? Uh, leave me a comment below. What's your favorite book? What have I missed out on? So here we are straight in at number nine. We've got Running Beyond uh, by Ian Corliss. So this is big, uh, big book, it's a big coffee table style book. So loads of big glossy pictures. Um, so let's have a look at some of these. So on here, we've got Glencoe Skyline. So that race is covered. It, it pretty much lists through loads of iconic races around the world to run and follows some of the, the biggest um, trail sky running uh, sort of athletes as well. So here we got uh, a few pages on the Tromso Sky Race. It's just picked loads of really nice pictures and descriptions about where the, the folk are running. It's, it's a really nice book to, to just pick up and read. It's very visual. Uh, so this book was released in 2016, but really nice to, nice to have in your, in your collection of running books. So here we are at number eight. I've got Scott Jurek, Eat and Run. So Scott Jurek is one of the biggest names in ultra running. So in this book, he looks back at his uh, life and his running career and talks about his vegan diet and the importance of food and fueling. Uh, this book also contains some of Scott's recipes and it does have a few pictures in there as well. So I, I, I just like to have a few visual pictures in a running book so I can actually see, because um, I've got all the images in my head from reading about it, but it's nice to just see the, the pictures as well. So yeah, great book, Scott Jurek, Eat and Run. So number seven, number seven is, it's a bit of a surprise one. This is Ronnie O'Sullivan and Running. So for all the Brits out there, you'll know Ronnie O'Sullivan as basically the best snooker player in the world. Uh, but did you know he is also a keen runner? He, he's fairly obsessed with running as well. So he's written this book. Uh, so it's an interesting read. Tells you about uh, parts of his life that you just never thought about at all. You just didn't realize he was into his running so much. Uh, so he's got an addictive personality and running's his healthy addiction. So yeah, I'm sure there is. I don't know why I'm obsessing with pictures here, but there are some, some pictures in the book as well. Maybe I just like picture books. But good read, uh, something you wouldn't expect um, Snook Player to have a running book, but well worth a read. So here we go with number six. So number six for me is Killian Journey with Run or Die. So I'd followed Killian for, for many years. I'm sure plenty of you have as well. So it's really interesting to get his book and have a read about uh, what life was like growing up in the mountains, um, when he was traveling around in his van, uh, going to different races and how he coped with different injuries. So it's pretty well thumbed through this one. I've lent this to a few folk. Uh, the last person I lent it to managed to spill some coffee all over it, which <laughs> at least it's been well read anyway. And, and most importantly, it's got some pictures. So yeah, good book, well worth a read. Uh, Killian, he's a legend, so make sure you pick up his book. So here we go, this is number five for me. So it's Scott Jurek again with North. So this tells the story of Scott Jurek running, uh, or setting the record for running the Appalachian Trail, which is 2,200 miles. So you get a great feeling of what it's like um, to actually be on the trail 
and you hear how how deep he actually he had to dig to to get that record done. And don't worry, plenty of pictures. <laughs> so good book. I enjoyed this one. Well, I enjoyed them all, but yeah. Uh, Appalachian Trail just sounds like an amazing place. So Scott Jurek North. Here we go, number four. So number four is my apologies to the author because I have no idea how you pronounce his name and I'm just struggling big time to, to be able to say this. So it's Adharanand Finn, which I'm sure is pronounced wrong, uh, with Running with the Kenyans. So it's a great look into why the Kenyans are so successful at running. So Ed Haranand, he took the decision to pack up his family, uh, moved to Kenya. He totally immerses himself in uh, the Kenyan way of life. Uh, he trains with them on the track um, and he learns what, what they do every day um, and what running means to them. It's a great book. Uh, running with the Kenyans. Number three, I have, yes, it's the same man again, at Haranand Finn, uh, The Way of the Runner. So this time, he basically packs up his life and moves to Japan. So he takes his whole family out to Japan. Uh, the kids have to learn Japanese at school from scratch. Um, Again, he immerses himself in the Japanese way of living. Uh, running in Japan is absolutely huge. So he wanted to find out the differences in how the Japanese look at uh, running and the training they do uh, compared to the Kenyans. And you learn all about um, things like Ekiden. So I'd never heard of Ekiden before, but Ekiden is absolutely the biggest thing there is in Japan. So, great book, Ada, oh my goodness, The Way of the Runner, read this book. Number two is Christopher McDougall and Born to Run. Now, I've lent my copy of this out, so I don't have it to actually show you, uh, but I'm fairly sure you can just find it on the internet. So. Born to Run uh, brings us the story of the Tarahumara Indians from Mexico uh, who run ultras uh, using sandals that they, they make out of tires. Uh, so this book also introduced me to quinoa, which seems a bit random, but it did. And it tells us um, about Caballo Blanco as well. So really good book, uh, very popular. I'm sure many of you will have read this book. Uh, so that's Christopher McDougall, Born to Run. So here we are, this is my number one uh, running book, which is Ultra Marathon Man uh, by Dean Cornassis. So I don't even want to tell you about this book. Um, you just have to read it. It's the one book that's stuck in my head more than any other book. It's probably the first running book I actually read uh, but it definitely made an impression on me. Uh, it's simply a great book. Uh, you really do need to read this. If you only get one book out of all the books that I've talked about here and read it, make sure it's this one. So that is Ultra Marathon Man uh, by Dean Carnassus. Uh, it was uh, released in 2006. So here we go, this is the reason that my top 10 started at number nine. And that's because we've got a new entry that's just been released, uh, just out in the bookshops. And that is Ali Bevan and Broken. So Ali looks back at the crazy year of 2020, uh, where all big names in running went after FKTs, so fastest known times, seeing as though all the races around the world had come to a standstill. Uh, I've only just started reading this book, but I know Ali's humour uh, when he writes, and I can guarantee I'll be smiling um, when I'm reading this. Uh, Ali also helped out on accruing several of the records that were broken, so he certainly knows what he's on about. So that's Ali Bevan and Broken, and I'd forgotten to mention on some of the other books.
But let's just do a quick, yep. Tick for pictures. It's got pictures. So there are Amazon links to all or most of these books just below. Um, with lots of these books being out for a while, uh, you're gonna get them at a good price. So do yourself a favor, uh, feel free, hit the link below and grab yourself a bargain. I'm sure plenty of you will put these in a different order, but I enjoyed reading all of these books. Um, I have loads of other books that didn't make the top 10. So I can honestly say, if you've not read some of these books, they're well worth the read. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what books you've read and what you've really enjoyed. So thanks now, I'll see you next time. He looks back at his life. Um, I'll start again. Number two, I have Christopher McDougall and The Way of the Runner because I've lent my copy out and I'm holding up a totally different book in front of you. Oh my goodness me. Uh, Tarahumara, Tarahumara, Tarahumara. <laughs> Tarahumara. Born to Run, a uh, massive book, everyone has probably read that. No, I'll start this again. Um, so if you want something uh, to blah, 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 blah. So I can honestly say, if you've not read any of these books, I keep looking everywhere, don't I? I keep looking over here. I keep looking over there. I should be looking here.